Hey, it's Jackie, and welcome back to my channel. For today's tutorial, I have a series of hairstyles inspired by Elle Evans from the movie The Kissing Booth. I loved Elle's hair. She had very textured, beachy waves that were super carefree in contrast with a gorgeous princessy updo and then a retro look for her birthday party. So three very different hairstyles and I'll be using different stylers to help get these looks. And I did keep it a little bit more inspired today because I have been pinning my hair up quite a bit to match whatever character's hair length, but I really just wanted to rock my own hair and I'll show you guys the full effect of these new stylers. I'm working with OGX for this video and in the past OGX has been known for their shampoo, conditioner, and some leave-in products for hair which work great and now they have a whole new diverse range of styling products which is so exciting and helpful when creating these styles. If you're new to my channel and you love pop culture tutorials, make sure you hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification so that you don't miss an upload and there has been so many fun rom-coms out recently especially on Netflix so let me know if you have a favorite in the comments and let's get started. First L style is her beachy textured hair. This style is super quick and looks best on second day hair because you can work with a bit of grit. Got on my makeshift school uniform and to make sure my roots are not flat and to freshen up the hair, I'm taking the OGX Extra Strength Refresh and Revitalize Plus Argan Oil of Morocco Dry Shampoo and spray into the roots. This is oil absorbing while adding a really nice subtle scent and it's super light in texture so it's not gonna gunk up your style in a couple of hours. And my hair is already easier to work with and like Elle we're gonna part our hair to the side and so the back of the style lays nicely add a bit of tease there and then comb backwards my hair generally doesn't hold tease well so I always add in a bit of styler when I do this you'll be able to see the full impact of the OGX abotifying plus bamboo fiber in Elle's birthday party look but I did add a bit here and to the roots one more time before adding a bit of wave with a straightener Take a small to medium section at a time and clamp downwards. And then turn the straightener with the hair clamped towards you and run down the length. You should get a slight curl after this and you can twist as it cools to help pick up the curl shape. curl starting a little higher on the top layer and then the very front face framing wave you want lots of volume and for the wave to lay about where the jawline is. From the same Botifying Plus Bamboo Fiber Full Line there is a full sugar cane sugar high tosso spray that'll give a loose lived in look to the waves or you can go with a full root boost mousse like I did. This is a really unique product that I had to feature because it's part mousse and part hairspray giving hair hold and fullness. I felt this spray gave the hold and the texture that I wanted because typically I do waves and then I'll use like a shine spray for a very glam look while this has more of a sexy vibe to it with all the volume and more of a relaxed style. This spray like the rest of the line has bamboo fibers and the mousse also has plant collagen to help achieve this look. And let's do look number two. I'm obsessed with this princess-esque prom updo paired with dainty accessories and a coral dress. We are going to be curling the hair, so a heat protectant is a great step. This time I grabbed the protecting plus silk blowout quick drying thermal spray. This is great specifically for blow drying because it's infused with silk extract and quinoa to speed up the blow dry time. I've already blow dried my hair using this for sleek strands and I just topped it off with a bit more spray before hot tools to protect against any damage. Section a front portion about where the arches of the brows are and then keep this out of the way to style later. Even in updos, sometimes adding more volume quickly adds a lot of balance and it looks more put together in the end. So I'm taking the Botifying Plus Bamboo Fiber Full Big Hairspray and teasing around my hairline. And then up we go into a super high ponytail. For the rest of this style, I'm switching to the Smoothing Plus Shea Sleek Collection from OGX to Calm Flyaways that would take away from this polished updo. I love a good donut shaped bun maker. You can find these at the drugstore along with all of the products I'm using and pin with bobby pins to the base. 
Taking a one inch curler, add some curl to help the hair lay over the bun shape and pin as you go to hide the mold. Wrap the ends around the bun, I added a bit of twist detailing to recreate Elle's bun. And leave the ends out on one side and we will add some pin curls later but first let's do the bang area. Same curling iron, just curl the base of the hair backwards to add volume and clip in the rounded shape as it cools. I just did three sections here, and once it's cooled, brush out, tease a little bit, and then you want to lay the section to the side, and Elle had some volume right before the bun, so since I haven't gone crazy with bobby pins, this look is still pretty easy to mold, so I'm pulling up this middle section and then laying the remaining hair over it, and pinning the shape down at the sides, and setting with a smoothing plus shea humidity blocking hairspray to ensure the style lasts even in the heat or a long night out. This part isn't exact to Elle's, hers looked a little bit more like a finger wave at some angles, but it is an easy way to get a very similar vibe. Onto the accent pin curls. Just curl a section, roll the hair into a flattened loop following the curl pattern, and pin with one or two bobby pins against the bun shape. Make sure you get the top of the pin curl so that it doesn't fall forward. Final spray of the smoothing plus shea humidity blocking hairspray infused with shea butter and a marula oil and with the sweetheart style dress and an updo, a little glow on the shoulders and collarbones looks amazing. Last kissing booth inspired style is simple but definitely makes a statement. This time go with the middle part and leave out some face framing pieces to style last, plus a larger horizontal section to lay over all the teasing we'll be doing so it has a sleeker look. Clip away and then tease by bringing sections forward in one hand fairly tightly and then back combing mainly the root but also throughout for huge hair. This teasing is really going to stay put and go by a lot faster with the help of the OGX Botifying Plus Bamboo Fiber Full Big Hairspray. I love big giant hair, so this hairspray is my most used from all the new stylers, but there is something for everyone, whether that's to give your hair lots of shine, movement, curls, tight holds, it's whatever your hair wants, and I'm excited to create more styles using these stylers because they really did make the style really easy to do. Okay, so I'm done teasing and just smoothing over that last section and add a retro black headband. I got mine off eBay, so I'll have that link down below. And like in the first style, I'm using a straightener for some movement and then hairspray to lock the volume in place. I'm obsessed with how easy that was to get a polished tease. I kinda wanna do an updated Bridget Bardot look after doing this. And when brushing out before washing your hair, brush from the bottom to the top. And again, these products feel really light. Like I definitely did use a lot of hairspray, but this wasn't a huge mess afterwards. So I highly recommend this. Be sure to vote in the poll on which hairstyle was your favorite. you enjoyed these Elle Evans hairstyles and if you did make sure you give this video a thumbs up and comment below which hairstyle out of the three was your favorite and if you do try out any of these styles or pick up any of the OGX stylers please take a picture and tag me because I love to feature your looks and your pictures in my videos and I had so much fun working with these products and recreating these styles and if you want to stay updated with me and see what tutorials are coming up follow me on Instagram at Jackie Wires and I'll see you in my next video.